So, good morning, everyone. Uh, before I will go to proceed to our presentation today, uh, let me first introduce myself and my group. So, uh, by the way, I am Erwin John for the Um I'm going to present the jury during reading activities. Um, and I we have here Miss Mary Rose Mason, Mason, right? Um, LG, I, Judina Pore, May Ann Gogo, um, GV Malinkis, and LG Mabandi. So before we will go to um, proceed to our lesson proper, let's just have first an activity. So for our activity for today, so I I want a three I one representative in every group. So can we move the chairs? Three and uh, four chairs. So this is by one, two, three, four. One representative every group. I want one representative on this. So what animal saw Jim crying? Sab, sab, kay mura nagsabay. Okay. What animal saw Jim crying? Okay, masumpad. Pink fox. Correct. So that is the effect. So number two, where, or where were Jim's goats? Okay, Navarro. In the okay, very good. That's correct. So number three, how many goats were in the carrot field? Okay, masumpal siya. Yes, very good. So there are three goats in the story. So why did the fox run run after the goats? Why? Okay, Tessa. Get the to go after the goats. All right. So to get the goats out of the field. So that's very good. So Masumbad gets two points, and Tessa got one point, and Navarro got one point. All right. So that's all for the activity. Uh, for the motivational activity. Alright class, so do you have any idea where, what we were going to tackle for today? Okay, Miss Tessa? 
I think our lesson for today is all about <coughs> reading activities. All right, very good. So our topic for today is all about reading activities. So reading activities about pre, during, and post-reading activities. So first, let's discuss what is pre-reading activities. So by the way, I am Mary Rose Kimisoles, and I am going to present the uh, pre-reading activities. So our topic outline is the pre-reading activities, unlocking difficult words, motivation or motive, and question tandem or the PWL prediction chart. And then during reading activities, post-reading activities, developing listening comprehension, or the levels of comprehension questions, and also the other post-reading activities. Okay, before we will proceed to um, discussing the three reading activities, just first, um, a, re a reading lesson is made up of activities to activate students' background, knowledge, and present new vocabulary and tasks while students read the passage and after the reading is over. Um, read Reading, reading is a process involving word recognition, comprehension, and fluency. So when we say word recognition, word recognition, um, anang, anang pagtanaw pa lang sa bata, nagbabalo na siya sa words, it is uh, unfamiliar with it, no, if we have first encounter with the, the words. So first, as the second is comprehension. So when we say comprehension, so by reading it, the, the students can easily um, absorb or understand what they what what they was what they were reading. So third is fluency. So when we say fluency is the ability to read uh, a text accurately, uh, precisely, and quickly. So now um, we have stages for teaching reading. These are the three stages that you should follow during a reading, re reading lesson. So first is the pre-reading stage, second is while reading stage or the during reading stage, and the post-reading stage. These three stages are um, have different important rules for the students to ma ma develop the students um, um, ilham reading. So para, para, para mas masabda nila dahil na para na, Iba ka po page ang gibasa sa bata. So para masabda na sila dayon while uh, before reading it, while reading it, and pag humansa, ilang hapag basa, we need to um, know and learn about these three stages. So the pre-reading stage will be tackled by Mary Rose Mesoles. So now, let's proceed to the reading lesson or the pre-reading. So, pre-reading is to skim through the content. So, the meaning of the scheme is to skimming. For example, getting the essence from reading materials without reading all the words. So, for example, magbasa ka of novel, di ba? First na to binatano is ang iyahang summary, di ba? Sa likod. And then, so that as... So through that reading, so makuha na to ang uh, mga general overview of that novel. So na ang mga makabalo na dapat sa ang characters and also we um makabalo na dapat sa flow ana ng novel. And then sa so pre-reading is from the word pre-reading is wala pa wala pa ka nagbasa whole is ang ang pre-reading is for um mga dapat buhaton bago ka magbasa. Mo na siya ang Anang ginatanaw ko din mo kung saan Ang mga tapong ingang ganina na Tanaw sa inyo mo ang summary bago ka mag Ibasa ko din mo full ang novel So, reading the uh, Pre-reading highlights key points And identify clues Before you tackle the main body of the text So, mga tapong ingang ganina na Through pre-reading is Na highlight siya ang mga key points May bawaan yung hindi sa protagonist and antagonist and also, it will help you deepen your understanding of the text, comprehend the writer's meaning 
more deeply. So, and also, and also, pre-reading is a time-saving technique. So, for example, kaya masabi ko kanina is ang summary imuhang basahon bago pa mo tackle ay mo basa sa full novel. And then, next slide. So, pre-reading activities, these are the activities that help students think about what they know about the topic and predict, predict what they will read or hear. So, for example, nakabasa na ka sa summary at then mag-start mag na ka umbasa dahil ma-predict ni mo kung sa'yo mahita po sa, ano, sa character dito, ah, sa novel. Ay, di ba, kung magbasa kasi nakatuloy na nagbasa ng novel there or mga short stories lang. Okay, Lloyd? Di ba, nice kaya siya, Lloyd, di ba, pag magbasa pa lang yung start, magbasa ko lang ka sa title niya and then sa summary, di ba, makakuan na ka lang. Uy, ano yung mahita mo sa ano, characters? And then, next slide. So the process of pre-reading involves four steps. So not only four steps, four steps in pre-reading. So first is dapat mag-preview ka. And then second is to predict. Third is to the prior knowledge. And fourth is the purpose. So first, let's discuss what is preview. So preview. So before, so before ta mag magato sa reading or any bago ta magpunta sa mga reading activities or magbasa sa novel is dapat nakapibyo ta or nakita nato ang entire text to grab the ideas. So for example, katong sabi ko kanina na summary, di ba? This this simply means to skim through the content, content and focus on the titles and Right, so, but niya na siya, ang preview is, that is, uh, nakapapas siya sa titles and his life. So, through, nabasa na ito ang pages, makabalo na ito, ang say, um, ang say, ang say, about, ang say, about ni na story or na novel. So, preview, this step requires you to be curious about what's inside. Diba, makabasa tag summary, diba, mura, tuto lang siya, ma, yung, maka, 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 through summary, maka, mura, ma, Mama motivate ka na mubasa ka murag na na ganan ka sa story tapos sa summary is gamay lang biya na ng story butang nila ano di ba yung mga summary na lang siya so that step a uh, step requires us to uh, think about what it says so so, so preview mo is dapat ang awni mo ang the table of contents so the table of contents it is a great place to start with your pre-reading then let's proceed to the second one is to predict. So once you review the text, you have an idea. So naano kay idea kay nabasa naman ka, so you have an idea about what it contains. So nabasa man ka sa titles, headlines, sa table of contents, so naano kay idea kung sa'y itapik ato na novel or kung sa'y all about. So this comes from titles or reading, so you know the road you think is the text. So try to predict what each category will elaborate and all and anticipate the thoughts and ideas. So sa predict is nakabalo na kadiwa sa ano nagtanong na ako sa titles and headings and also ma predict ni mo kung kinsa tong antagonist and protagonist kung kinsa to ang wrong character nila ah and now let's proceed to the four thoughts. The prior knowledge rather. So the prior knowledge is when you link what you're reading to your existing knowledge based to retain information with more accuracy. So prior knowledge, so for example, is then mga words din ko as a novel na ano, hindi kayo siya familiar sa imuha, but however, gikonek na mo siya sa imuha prior knowledge. So for example, diba, kasi naka-experience din magbasa tapos Ano na kayo nakita na unfamiliar words, di ba? Murang baga na pagkulang, murang na po yung pagbasa ko. Ano na yung muna sa ta ng whole sentence, di ba? Oo, so need na ito na makunik sa ato ang... Ang prior knowledge, makunik sa ato ang... Ano? Sa existing knowledge. And also, the prior knowledge are reached into your memory bank and 
connect the dots to understand more what's on the page. So, mo mas masabtan mo ang novel or mga sentence niya sa novel. So now, let's proceed to that's the purpose. So the purpose, kung sa may purpose ni mo, manong nagbasa ka na ang novel? Para asa po na yung nagbasa. So the purpose refers to the purpose. So your intention, kung sa may intention ni mo, manong nagbasa ka na ang novel? And motivation of the writer. And also, pre-reading helps you get the big picture idea behind the text. So, for the purpose is you can make conclusions on your own see, own and see if they correspond with the actual conclusion and the text. So, purpose. So, so the purpose is as a reader, what's the purpose ni mo sa pagbasa ng novel? So, purpose ni mo is na kay mag-learn or mag-grasp na knowledge ana na novel. Then, kawang lang man kung magbasa ka ng novel doon, yung balik kasabot, di ba? And then, without a purpose, kung wala na yung purpose sa pagbasa, agay mo, what's the data? So, what's the purpose? So, the purpose is, you can, um, so, without a purpose, you can easily lose your brain and get to the end of reading without knowing Wag ka kabalukot sa tayong gibasa kaya wag mo kay purpose sa tayong purpose ng pagbasa and also the purpose um eh so it matter if not working hard but we would would working smarter and also the pre reading um it will improve our vocabulary so that students for our students we can complete the reading task successfully for us to know the meaning of words we read, di ba? Na matay ma magbasa ta natin, ma-experience ng mga lisod ng words. However, kung kana ng mga words na lisod is ato na makonex sa ato ang um, writer knowledge is makuha na natin siya. O siya, ipasabog ni anak ng words. Tapos para masabda na to ang whole na story. So that's all for the pre-reading activities. So this is the subtopic of pre-reading activities, um, unlocking difficult words. So unlock difficult words is, it is to ease the difficulty in understanding the story. So for example, in a story, di ba na ay mga sa first pa lang sa story, kaya wala pa, di ba wala pa ka reading So di ba na ay mga pictures dito ah. Uh, so in that, so in that koan, visual aids or mga pictures kay ah, uh, Kabalo na ka kung mga na na kay idea kung unsa na siya unsa imo unsa 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 ka ng title or, or sa title na daan or sa kanang mga colors sa mga object ng sa pictures gud niya kabalo na ka nga ah ingan di ID then some and then um to unlock also the important key there are words there are words phrases idiomatic expression or setting of the story. So, diri ah, uh, sa di ba sa mga sa story god na mga settings diri ka, uh, then kung wala ka kabalo, kung wala ka kabalo ng mga words, kanang, depende na mo na siya, in the words, kung di ka unfamiliar niya, then na may mga sentence na supporting details na kabalo ka na kung sa di ay ni, yung ana ng mga kuan. So, dapat, kung wala ka kabalo, Kung wala ka pa lang nga, nga po ang words, kahit first, kahit i-underline -under, i mo na siya first to. Kung sa game ni, dapat i-research ni mo ni, kung saan ni, kung saan nga, kung saan nga words jud ni, yung ana, ang um, kanang keywords niya ba, kung saan keywords jud niya. Then after ana, so, sa throw also pictures and drawing maps, makakap-up na ta, kung saan idea, kung saan nga, kung saan nga words, yung ana nga po ang. So some context flows also. We should remember that it is also important to use child's context and experience when unlocking new words. Kung mag-unlock tugtog new words, dapat kanang kanang dahil yung masabtan sa bata na ah, ina na di ay siya. Then sa 
sa paglimit po sa mga unlocking words daw, pag maglimit po sa mga pinaka words na three or three to five words na mag-unlock sa words sa mga na dinigod kaya sa mga bata nga na mga words. Then, sa post-unlock words after, word is unlock. Then, next also, it is also, um, we should use also the new words in ordinary everyday conversation. So, di ba na yung mga, mga kuan? Then, uh, di ba na ay kanang mag-use po ta nga every conversation nga na kanang mga simple good na words para kanang masabtan po sa mga bata na ah, yung ana, lain-lain po pero uh, na ay mga kuan ba, nga nang simple, simple lang sa mga simple or basic mga words na for, for example sa everyday para mga good morning, afternoon, nga na mga words para ka masagot po sa mga bata or kanang gamera, uh, mga conversation in English na para masabtan po sa mga bata para inakuan na itong mga history Ah, uh, mapay good niya kung sa diay nang siya. So, have the new words visible in a certain corner of the classroom. So, for example, good sa mga uh, in-ani na step, tayo, di ba, na may, na may mga reading corner sa classroom. So, sa reading corner po sa mga classroom, di ba ma-identify na ito? Hala, ang sana, for example, ka ng Alice Lee, the best policy, ka ng mga in-ani na mga words, kahit ka ng kapalang na budang bata na makita nila ang mga words sa mga every corner. Next, try, um, activation of prior schema or planning is the story. So, diri ako, it is also important to activate the children's background experience and stir up their interest. So, in the story pod, kahit dapat po ka ng pag magpabasa kayo sa story, dapat ka ng interesting pod ka ng na ay, na ay, na ay, ay, uh, na ay kuan, na ay makuan sa bata na kung saka important yun yung kuan story. Then and also, it is also important to provide direction or purpose for listening to the story. For example, kung wala ko ka magbasa, dapat uh, kabalo na ka ka ng, ka ng story ba? Kung sa purpose ano yung story na dapat ang mga bata madali nga sa imuhang kuan, sa imuhang story. Kana lang. Hi everyone, I'm Julina and the next presenter it is a type of a subtypes of a free reading activities. So motivation, motive, question, content. So two questions are uh, asked to prepare the students for uh, before reading. So what is motivation question? It's a general question designed to activate prior knowledge related to or similar to the situation in a project selection. So when we say motiva motivation question, uh, it means that to activate the prior knowledge related to the selection. We say selection para the world of titles and story. And next is motive question. So it's a question about the story. It gives your pupils the purpose for reading the selection. It may or may not be answered. So when you say a uh, motive question, um, it is uh, uh, it, um, it's to test the comprehension of the selection. So it is really uh, parallel with the motivation question. So for you to know the difference between the motivation question and motive question, I will give you an example. Um, for example, as the um, title is the very hungry caterpillar. So a motivation question is um, when and when you are very hungry, what food do you eat? What is a motivation question? So why a motive question is panang what the what food, like what did the very hap, very hungry caterpillar eat? So, um, ilang differences is, um, motivation question is, ang response sa question is, nag-base siya sa experience sa bata. Why ang motive is, naga, um, usa yung understanding, ay, usa yung, um, usa yung nasabdan sa title pa lang sa kanang story. So, next. 
students um, focus on the content um, focus on the content and gather information and organize the information they have read so this so we have 10 activities that will get your students to actively engage with the text and increase their understanding while reading first is scheme for the main idea before students get into the nitty-gritty of the text, have them skim the text for general overview. So, nangyong naman ni, ni my soul is gani na ang skim. So, so, encourage the students, encourage them to look um, the headings, the visuals, and the bold, the bold words, or katong mga Italian words, let uh, in ipa underline sila or ipakuan sila so that they will um, because those things will help them to um, to understand kung on sa yung um, main topic or main purpose sa um, story or ilahang gibasa na to. Second is stand for specific information. So, prepare a few questions that ask for specific information such as names, dates, times, and numbers. So, um, you don't need to to look for word, uh, word for word, word for word, para maibalan ni mo or maibalan ni mo ang unsa ang close story, sample the story, ang iba sa close story, kung unsa ang purpose of story. So, you just need to um, um, find the specific information you you want to know usap mong gusto or usap gusto sa students na mahibal na about the story. So, third is summarize or paraphrase. So, put students in pairs then have them read one paragraph at a same at a time silently. So, pwede po ka mag, as a teacher, pwede po ka mag, mag, mag prepare reading sa mga mga students then, when they finish reading, ask them to take turns 
um, of summarizing, summarizing or paraphrasing about what they have, um, what they have read. For example, kung um, gintagahan sila lang, basasa ninyo ang first paragraph of the story. So, after the pagbasa sa first paragraph of the story, kung sila ang ipasummarize about anak, kung kung sila nasabtal o kung saan, kung saan nila ang nabasa anak. So, for, the fourth one is use, use context clues. A student read, a student read, have them circle any unfamiliar words or expressions. So, in this, in this section, so, now, um, katong unfamiliar words or expression na nakita sa bata, let them um, book them in circle, underline banuya, or book them in open, open, and, open and close parentheses. So, be, before now, wag ko sila, wag ko sila, silang phone para magpuan sa dictionary. Ako saan may pasabutan niyo? Ito pasabutan niyo. So, let them um, um, read, read all the the phrase or the paragraph para may bat, para makip para ma-identify nila kung unsa bag yun ang pasabutan na the words. So, ibig sabihin ka na sila'y sila'y um, sila yung provide sa ilang own meaning ang anak na um, text. Next is make, pre make, make predictions. After students have read and a paragraph or section have them, have them pause, pause and say what they think is going to happen next. So, masabda naman nato siya. So, oh, pagkakaman sa bata o oh, um, basa, basa a story, but upat ka buong ang paragraph sa story. So, i-post din mo siya sa second, sa second paragraph. Mas, i-mua siya na pumunta ng to. Kung sa inyo ang, ang, ang inyo ang prediction kung kung saan may tabi sa story o kung sa ang twist. So, next is, that anot anotate the text. As students read, encourage de them to note their reactions to the text in the margins. So, so they can um, they can place a question mark when they don't understand the the phrase or the sentence. So, pwede nila mag magbutas sila question mark, mas sila sa mga na so that mabalikan na nila or magpamuta na sila sa yung teacher sa what nila nasaktan or pwede po sila butang of heart kung kana siya na kuhan is happy ending or nahinindot na nahitabo or sad face kung pangit na nahitabo sa kuhan then next is consider, consider other perspective after students have re read the text one time ask, ask them to read it again and pretend they are reading it from someone else's point of view so Ako kasi ang makumpara sa ito akong parayagod sa ito akong mag-report na di naman na kailangan mag-report na one reference only, one source only. So we need to gather other sources para nung matandi kung asa ang tama. So parayagod ko lang, pag gumali nagbasa, mo sila ipabasa na lahat na po na ilham uh, opinion about what they have. Um, get, what they have said earlier about their opinions. So para ma ma assess sa teachers sa nato na kung ano sila ham so eight is participate in a job in a jigsaw activity this collaborative technique works well for longer text so may mis kabalo ba mo sa jigsaw activity ang jigsaw activity para yan ang group mo o group mo o Liba ka buog sa inyong teacher. So, kamunta na, gitaga na ako, as a teacher, nagatag buog story. Tapos, sa so, group 1, nagatag buog first paragraph, or group 2, third paragraph, inyohan ang basahon, tapos, inyohan ang eh, inyohan ang basahon, huwag inyong sabot. So, the first group, mag, 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 magbasa na sila sa ilang section, or sa ilang paragraph, pagkawa na na, ang katulog na na, duha ka, duha ni Al, or ayan ko ba na members at to kumambag sa, sa pikas ng group para ma-absorb ako nila kung kung saan ang sasabi ibasa sa or kung saan ang, ang about sa second paragraph so and so and so mag-ambag sila hanggang sa mga gather sila information or mag-abuunin ang story and mag-ilanan masabdan ang 
So, tomorrow is a jigsaw activity. So, next is who takes the order? Cut up the reading and have, stu have students put it in order. So, so if karaya na, na nabasa na sa tanan sa students ang um, first and second paragraph, so uh, magbuhat ka o uh, um, phrase lang or sentences as ginawang ipa-aray sa ila kung asa itong first events, asa itong second events na hindi third events, asa itong climax. So, wala siyang context sa ito. The last one is create a Venn diagram. So, pabalo naman siguro ka. Students are open as to read articles that compare and contrast two or more topics. So, um, this is this is this um, activity is also um, uh, important kay ma, ma compare nila of contrast ang um, um, uh, every characters of the story um, lang ba matasan and all. Next is the post media. So now we will talk about post reading activities. Post reading activities are activities that after the student has finished the reading with text, these are usually types of that are more deeply understood than what we have read on so the, the post reading activities, this is the, stor the students that they are, and ang humana kung sila basa tapos, dito ako ba may sure kung unsa man ilang na learn sa story. Kana humana, humana ni sila basa ang post reading activities. So what are the importance of post reading activities? First, help students to locate and record relevant information. Then second, support students to make connections with that they know and between text. So that I'm Nga nung importante man yun ang post reading activities para po malukay sa mga student ang mga information then para po makabalo sila kung dun sa ang connection sa mga words. So, there are some examples of post reading activities. First, write a summary. If students can summarize a piece of writing, you can be sure they got the guest of what they, they just read. So after the students reading the story, they will write a summary. Kung maka, makasulat sila o summary, it means na nakasabot sila sa ilang ibasa o napod sila na come up or na sila na learn nga koan. Na sila na learn din ba ang story. Next. Create a quiz. So, as a teacher, or we are a teacher, we will give the students or tagana to nga tuso dyan ting na napin sila rule na magpag-quiz sa ilang classmates after after nila magbasa o story para po makibalan niya kung ang iyong mga classmates nagbasa o tarong o napin na satan ka ng di ba much better man dyan pag magbasa ta nga makasabot po sa tong di ba sa ka ng mga read and comprehend. So next, play a game. So, Play a game, ang mga ang students mag-form sila into three or four groups tapos tagaan sila ang mga words na gigan sa story na ilang ibasa tapos ang ilang isulat dito ay, ay ilang pinimra dito ang mga facts ng mga nabasa lang nila sa story tapos katong mga forms dili ko nila i-appel pa sulat so kung kinsa nga group po itong daghan nga nasulat ang facts mga kutoy na huwag mga kutong na na ko yun na learn sa iya ang story ng iba sa kato mga mga next make an outline the students make an outline of the reading the main ideas and details will be become clear so after magbasa ang mga students ng story magbuhat sila o outline magsulat sila dito ako mga main ideas o para po dami mga detalye ma kanang clear or masabutan nila if na sila outline after karang magbasa na after nila pagbasa next next is write a story encourage students to choose 8 to 10 or 8 to 10 new or interesting words challenge them to write a story using these words so after nila pagbasa sa story kanang encourage na to ang ato ang student na mag pili sila dito, mag choose sila dito it covers na interesting, mga interesting words tapos 
magbuhat si naog short story. Ang buhat ang nila short story ka lagi. Two time nga words na dito as ay lang buhat ang short story. No further research helps us to do the online research on the topic and reporting findings back to class. So, after nila pagbasa, nila asa kuan ka ang topic. If ever man na sila, di ay ka nang muragdi, lipa sila kuan ka nang lilipa sila kuan kaya sila nasabtan nila. Pwede kung sila mag-research na online, mag-research sila sa online about anang nga topic para po madugangan ko na nila ilahang information na makuha nila. Right questions. Students have three to five questions about the topic that they didn't understand. So, pa after nila pagbasa, if ever man gani na sila yung mga words dito ang walang nasabda, na sila yung mga line dito ang walang nasabda, isulat ko nila tapos ipautanan nila para, para po mag-clear sa ilaha. Next. Next is ni Bandi. Yung mga Bandi. Now let's move on the development of listening comprehension levels comprehension question. So think we share. Think strategy for most critical thinking conversation of all function. And it's best used after whole group a reading comprehension lesson. Kana magpa magbabasa ng story sa atong mga sa atong mga students then dapat na sila sila ay na malay or na sila critical thinking. Critical thinking. Next. <coughs> Graphic organizers are another way to achieve post comprehension after a whole group or small group instruction. It is also a easy way to assess the child's individual. Comprehension after an independent reading assignment. Can I. Um. Can I. Magbabasa ka sa mga bata din. Then, mga, dapat i na po sila kung sa ilang na, kung sa ilang na, oh, the lesson story. So, retailing summer, summarizing. Uh, our post-reading comprehension strategy students can use to, therefore, understanding of a text. Dapat, magbasa sila ng story, dapat na, na sila ay na-understand na sa story. QER. When the word of QER is question-answer question relationships. Questioning is a case strategy and comprehension. And the QA, QER is model that helps children understanding question and, and answer relationship a uh, variety of text. So, reading serve as a model of writing students for, for example, kanang mag, magbuhato na, magbuhato na po sila o, ano, kanang story, dapat na sila ay, ano, na sila ay creative, o creation, creative or sa ilang, ano, words. Exit tickets. Exit tickets are another way to quickly shape post reading comprehension. Skills and strategies after home drop are small literacy uh, lesson. So, the, so, this is exit tickets can help uh, teachers um, to, to, co to comprehend, to, to teach, uh, how to teach the children. Writing about reading. So, while comprehension is the ultimate goal in reading, writing about reading is the most advanced. Most comprehensive assignment students students can complete. So, so while nagbasa ang mga bata, dapat na sila ay, uh, dapat na sila ay knowledge or knowledge or na-learn sa ilang ibasa. So now let's proceed. Okay, um, the group act uh, or group the group activity and uh, our assessment will be sent um, to you in our GC and 
Um, thank you for listening. That's good. That will be all. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.